And so this first one is kind of a, a cutting down to the, the center line, which is right in my center, kind of going forward. And what it is, is instead of just blocking down, like you see a lot of martial arts, right? It's actually coming forward towards the opponent's hara or their stomach, right? And so what it does is it tends to, if somebody throws something towards your chest or goes to push you, what this does is it cuts that arm down and it pushes it back into the opponent. So it kind of jams it, right? And so each one of these tools is also used with a, usually a strike or a punch or a shop type movement, right? And so each one of these is kind of used with a, a secondary hand, okay? But when I teach the tool itself, I'm teaching just the, the basic movement <clears throat> which would be, you know, a cutting down and a punch, a cutting down and a punch in, in real use, right? But the jump sow is not only this movement kind of forward and down, but it's this triangle that's made from the shoulder, wrist, and elbow, and how that extends, right? And then also a triangle here with the wrist and the forearm, and how that pushes down and extends, right? So we're doing both triangles at the same time. And instead of having the elbow out here where we lose power because it goes into the shoulder, we get the shoulder locked in behind into the spine and we have all of the body weight behind that. And so what happens is somebody actually tries to do like an uppercut and you're doing that jump sow, they have to lift your whole body up to get that uppercut moving right because you get all of your body weight behind that <clears throat> and so that's what we try to do with each one of our our tools is we try to actually get the body structure and the body weight kind of behind the tool 